Hello, everybody, and welcome to This Week on Twitch. My name is Zach, and this is the only show on YouTube covering everything happening on the platform. From news to drama, we do cover it all. Guys, we have a lot of things to talk about this week, including a bunch of weird, strange enforcement on clothing. So let's actually get right into it. We start things off with platform news, and our first bit of news here is that Twitch has added a new visualization to assist with chat commands. They tweeted out, we've made using chat commands way easier. Just type a slash, and we'll help you fill in the rest. It's like a cheat code for chat, and they're sharing it with you you. This is a fantastic feature that will absolutely benefit streamers. It'll benefit moderators. A great update by Twitch. Uh, good for them for implementing it. TwitchCon is just under two weeks away and they have now added some additional artists to the TwitchCon party. They have added Blink182, Median, Aura, and Y2K. This goes in addition to Lil Nas X, who's also going to be performing as well. Very exciting stuff for anybody who's attending the party. And continuing with what I started last week of tracking partner and staff numbers, here are this week's numbers. Uh, there were 25 people who were given the staff badge, while 6 people lost it. And then in terms of partners, 139 new people were made partner in the last week while 18 people lost their check mark. All right, and with that, let's move on to Twitch drama. Bridget is a partnered streamer with 72,000 followers and was recently suspended for sharing or engaging in sexually suggestive content or activities. Now, I'd reached out to her directly to find out why she was suspended, and she uh, responded to me saying, I do have a contact at Twitch that I spoke to briefly, and he basically said that the context is very important. For example, something sexual in a game is a different context to a conversation about sexuality. Therefore, just chatting streamers are held to a different standard. Also, the amount of times something controversial is brought up can be an issue. They don't want channels dedicated to certain controversial topics such as sex, but it is more acceptable if the topics get brought up once in a while rather than constantly. Now, she also addressed her chat and what was going on uh, in her community at the time of her suspension. She said, I always ban anything racist, sexist, homophobic, or generally offensive or in bad taste. I have a zero tolerance policy for that. And lastly, adding, I have no problem being represented reprimanded for potentially breaking the terms of service. I just wish I was told what that violation was for. I think it would help me and other streamers know how to improve our own channel to fit into the guideline Twitch wants upheld. Ultimately, it's their choice on how they ban and what information they provide as to why, so I respect their decision regardless. Now, this is going to be something, and this is actually something that I believe in 100%, Twitch should 100% be more clear on why people are getting suspended. Anytime I cover these bans, a lot of the times you go, okay, I understand that one. Amaranth gets suspended for a lip slip. Okay, that one makes sense. But as we'll talk about uh, in a second here, Faria gets uh, a warning for her clothing, doesn't make as much sense. Uh, anyways, she was suspended for three days. She is now unsuspended. And uh, let's move on to our next story. TF Blade is a partnered League of Legends streamer with 630,000 followers and was recently suspended from Twitch after some of the things that he said uh, on, on stream were unacceptable for the platform and considered hate speech. He actually shared via Twitlonger a, a little bit of an explanation for his suspension, saying, I feel like I owe it to you guys to give you the reason for my ban. At first, I was afraid maybe it would be bad for my reputation, but then I realized hiding from the truth is worse. And then he goes on to say, I got banned on Twitch because I legitimately had no idea that calling people or the region, and he's referring to Turkey, uh, in the game dog slash unintelligent out of just frustration with no intentions of hurting one really is something you can get banned for. Now, I reached out to him directly as well to find out the time frame of the suspension, and he does not know currently, but he does believe that it is 14 days. So we'll have to see whether or not that holds true. Uh, he has been suspended for the 14 days for those comments. Faria is a partnered Overwatch streamer with 69,000 followers, and she recently tweeted out that she received a warning for wearing underwear or lingerie on stream. Uh, her tweet included uh, the message saying, because workout clothes and showing midriff equals lingerie. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And she also shared an image of what she was wearing at the time. Now, as somebody who follows and tracks suspensions and the the VODs and, and clips on why people were suspended or, or get a warning, this one is strange because it seems to fly in the face of uh, why people typically would get a warning. There are people who literally wear lingerie on stream, 
that don't get a warning or a suspension. And maybe that's equated to the fact that there's nobody reporting it. Uh, entirely possible. But it still seems like a very, very strange uh, situation considering some of the bigger streamers who seem to skate this kind of thing. Anyways, she's on 90 day probation for allegedly wearing lingerie or underwear on stream. Tyler One's girlfriend, Michaela, is a partnered streamer with 126,000 followers and was recently suspended for three days, but then it was reduced to 24 hours after she was browsing Twitter and came across a pair of breasts on stream. I do have the clip, I'm showing it to you now. It's obviously censored, but alas, there you go. 24 hours for accidentally showing Twitter titties. Kuko is an affiliate with 9,000 followers and was recently suspended for sharing or engaging in sexually suggestive content or activities. Now she had tweeted this out, including an image of what she was wearing at the time, which was a Chun Lee cosplay. Now she also was suspended recently for a different kind of cosplay where she had accidentally showed her underwear beneath the dress that she was wearing. And there have been a lot of articles and a lot of talk about this suspension in particular, saying that there's nothing sexual about what she is doing here. While I would tend to agree there is nothing inherently sexual about the cosplay itself, the reality is when she is sitting, it is angled down to a point where at a couple occasions during the stream, it does manage to show uh, the point where the inner thigh and the pelvis connect. And I have seen that that has been a reason why people get suspended. You do need to keep that area covered. It's the only thing I can extrapolate from it, and it's the only reason why I think that the knee-jerk reaction of going, oh, this is crazy, she shouldn't be suspended, is uh, a little bit uh, misguided, perhaps, because that is absolutely a reason that Twitch has suspended people. Again, if you take the context of going to a beach while wearing a bikini, the context is the beach. A bikini doesn't cover that area, of course. But when you're at home, when you're uh, not at a beach and you show that area, the context of that does not exist. And as such, we get a suspension. Please don't kill the messenger. I'm just trying to make sense of what Twitch is doing. And this is the thing that makes sense based on what they've done in the past. Steven IRL is a partnered streamer with 91,000 followers and was recently suspended from the platform for brandishing a weapon. Now, if you don't know about Steven IRL, he is actually a bounty hunter. He goes around and live streams himself, uh, tracking down perps and uh, bringing them to justice. And uh, yeah, in one of his streams, he brandished a weapon that Twitch did not agree with. And as such, he is suspended indefinitely. We'll have to see if he returns. Indefinite doesn't mean permanent. It just means there's no time frame for his return. Jazz Sparks is an art streamer with 46 hundred followers and was recently suspended for three days for nudity now she tweeted out last night i received a three-day ban from twitch for nudity all intimates were censored with modest cool story bobs that uh, granted could have been better placed this screenshot is exact how the painting looked for the majority of the stream before it, i was cut off and she shares an image here of a uh, a, a busty piece of art covered with uh, cool story bobs but alas not enough to uh, appease Twitch. That is too much nudity for the platform. So she is suspended for three days. Dipped in Poison is our final suspension for the week. She was suspended for 24 hours, so only a day, for wearing sexually suggestive attire, such as undergarments or intimate apparel. Uh, and she also tweeted out an image of the moment where she was suspended. You can actually see it in the chat and what she's currently wearing at the time. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I don't necessarily think that it's in the same realm as, as uh, some people's... I'm trying to make sense of this. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. And with that, guys, we're moving on to our new partner and feature affiliate of the week. And this week's new partner is Heaven. Guys, make sure you go check her out. She is a fantastic, engaging, and entertaining variety streamer. Uh, I've seen her in a lot of chats. She is exceptionally active on Twitter as well. Here's a couple of her clips. Make sure you guys go check her out. <laughs> She got that new mic and doesn't know how to act. <laughs> That's the stream for today. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's a joke.
And our featured affiliate of the week is Just Rico or Just Richo. Either or. Uh, in any case, he is uh, mainly playing uh, RPG style games. Guys, check him out. He's, he's very entertaining. He gets very active about uh, things that are happening in game. So uh, here's a couple of his clips. Oh no. We're going to do the BM. We're going to do the BM. Boom! <laughs> anyway. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my god! The potion save! The fucking potion save! The fucking potion save! Holy fuck! And with that, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please click the like and subscribe button and come over and check me out on Twitch. I'm live weekdays at 5. Here's the kind of stuff you're missing by not watching. That ultimately get me banned from Twitch, which would make me lose 90% of my income. Um. I just want to point out, if you're making 90% of your income from Twitch, you have not diversified enough. You need to figure out some additional stuff. That is your first warning shot across the bow for this guy. If somebody can potentially get you banned because you make, and that will impact 90% of your income, diversify your portfolio. Figure something out to make money on different platforms. And with that, guys, leaving you with fail of the week. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see ya. Bye-bye. backwards i don't understand uh, what okay what what you guys don't what you guys don't hear that here 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 you, 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 you don't hear it huh you don't hear it there's 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 uh there's footsteps right upstairs oh god can't hear it because the lights are on oh i hate this dude no, 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 no. There were footsteps. There were actually footsteps. Oh, it's my footsteps.